Okay, we've got a polynomial and you got a divisor. They're given to you. They want you to use long division. Yes, there'll be one question on the test where you will have to use long division and show your entire amount of work. All right, sorry, got to do it at least once. Okay, so we're going to take the x plus 1 and we're going to divide it into the 3x cubed minus x squared plus 2x plus 6. Nothing was missing. Remember, if the x squared had been missing, I would have had to have put a plus 0x squared in there. Okay, so you're going to start by taking the x and dividing it into the 3x cubed. 3x cubed divided by x would be a 3x squared, because this x cancels out one of those and leaves you with 2. So you're going to put that 3x squared right there. Next, you're going to take this 3x squared and you're going to multiply it times the x plus 1. And you're going to write the result underneath. Um, 3x squared times x would be 3x cubed. And 3x squared times 1 would be a plus 3x squared. Now, you draw a line and you're supposed to subtract. Well, 3x squared minus 3x squared, that should cancel out. If it doesn't, you did something wrong. And then negative x squared minus a 3x squared would be a negative 4x squared. And then you are going to drop down the next term, which is a plus 2x, and you're going to divide again. Okay, so we're now going to take this x again and divide it into the negative 4x squared. Negative 4x squared divided by an x. This x cancels out one of those but leaves you with an x to the first. So this is negative 4x. And that's what's going to go right here. And then you're going to take the negative 4x and multiply it times the x plus 1. So that's going to be negative 4x squared minus 4x. Draw a line, and you're supposed to subtract. Those cancel out. 2x minus a negative 4x would be 2x plus 4x, so that makes this 6x. And then we drop down the plus 6, and we divide again. We're going to take the x one more time and divide it into the 6x. 6x divided by x, the x is just cancel, you're left with 6, so that's a plus 6. And then you're going to take the plus 6 and multiply it times the x plus 1. And that is a 6x plus 6. And when you subtract, those cancel. And then 6 minus 6 is 0, which means this divided evenly. Now it does say, there it is, express p of x in the form of d of x times q of x plus r of x. All right, I need some space over here, so I need to erase this. Sorry. Okay, so my d of x, oh, I need another highlighter. My d of x right here in yellow, that was this. And then my q of x, that is this. And my remainder, oh, do lime green, is this. So my answer should be x plus 1 times, oops, I'm sorry. Ah, shoot, I hate it when I do that. Uh, I don't know how to erase my highlighter. Darn it. Um, let me fix that to a different color. How about bright pink? This right here. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Sorry. That's supposed to be this. Uh, <laughs> I probably should start this over, but I ain't gonna. All right. So my, there's, it's the red stuff that I had. The 3x squared minus 4x plus 6. That's your quotient. 
and then you're supposed to put plus the remainder and the remainder was zero. So this is my answer in the right form. It looks horrible, but sorry about that. I kind of goofed with my highlighter. So <clears throat> the X plus one is your divisor. The stuff here I put in blue, this is the polynomial I'm dividing into. And then this guy up here is my quotient. And this guy down here is my remainder. What a hot mess that is. All right. And this one says use synthetic division to find the quotient. Um, since it's x plus 1, you have to see this as an x minus a negative 1. So it's really a negative one we're dividing by. And then you just grab the coefficients, the two, the three, the four, and the constant of negative 10. Nothing was missing, so I didn't have to insert any zeros. And then you start by dropping down the two. And then you're going to take the two times the negative one, that is negative two, and then you add these two and you get a one. Then you take the one times the negative one, and that is negative one, add these two together and you get three. Then you're gonna take the three times the negative one, that's a negative three, and add these two together and you get negative 13. So that your answer is this 2 is the coefficient on, since we were dividing boop, an x into an x cubed, you should start this with 1 less, which is an x squared. And then it's going to be plus an invisible 1x plus a 3, and then the remainder would be the negative 13. So this is the quotient, and this is the remainder. And then this one, you're dividing by x minus one, so you just grab the one. Now in this one, um, I've got a one x cubed, but then I'm missing the x squared, so 0x squared. I'm missing the x, so 0x, and then there comes the constant of negative 3. So I bring down the 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 and 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 and 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1, and that adds up to negative 2. So in this one, Again, we were taking um, an x and dividing it into an x cubed. So it should be a 1x squared plus a 1x plus a 1. And then we have a remainder of negative 2. And that should be my answer.